I'd like to find the road we roam together, swinging along, finding the long way home. We didn't mind the time or place for weather, singing a song, finding the long way home. Remember, I used to sigh at the end of each day, dear. What is happening, house lovers and explorers? Happy New Year to everyone out there. Hope everyone's safe and either staying cool or staying warm. I know we're trying to stay cool down here in Australia. It's been bloody hot over the last few days. New Year's Eve, New Year's Day. So to kick off the new year, I thought I'd upload a bit of a marathon episode. Now this is part of a, an intersection upgrade. And you may remember a video from about 18 months ago, an old bluestone villa, this one here, that was victim of this intersection upgrade. Along with Peter Van, the party man, uh, party supplies store that was also demolished. Adelaide people will know and recognize this. This is the intersection before it was upgraded. Now there's Peter Van, the party man, and the old Bluestone Villa right here. Directly across Goodwood Road is this block here. Now there's nine houses that I explored plus this block of units right here. So we're going to show you through there. Here is the street view of when the houses were gone. but. The actual intersection has been finished now and this looks totally different. The cars actually go through where the houses were. Here's Google Images when the houses were still standing. And the little street that goes in between these are, is Francis Street. So we're going to take a look at all these homes. And the homes vary from some cool old retro 60s homes to some late 50s homes that have had heavy renovations. Um, but mainly 60s homes. Fair bit of stuff left in a few of them too, so there's lots to see. Um, so yeah, a bit of a marathon today guys, I hope you enjoy. Let's take a look. What's happening guys? I'm trying to suss this place out. Obviously it's going to be demolished. So, just trying to check if there's uh, any access points to have a snoop around. It looks like someone smashed their way in there. Bingo, it's open. All right, well, this place is not very old, probably 70s or 80s, judging by the brick. So we'll take a look around and uh, see if the neighbour house is open as well.
Yeah, it can't be older than the 80s, I wouldn't think, guys. Maybe late 70s. Living room. Kids room. Hmm. Well, I left those behind. Yeah, that's pretty cool actually. What's happening? Old ashtray stand. Front door. And front bedroom. Very, very small room, this one. Doily. All right, pretty plain. Let's take a squeeze outside and over at the neighbor, one next door. I think even the houses over that side of the street are vacant too. So this may be another huge development area, although there are cars parked in the home that's over that fence, I do know that. See through there guys, you can see a car. So there are people in the houses at the end of this street, but not the ones up this end. get around
Looks like this is a granny flat. Or it's divided into two at least. Oh, someone's kicked the door in. I'll try to. Well, they have. bathroom there. I'm kind of just leaning in the door. The magic of video guys. I just fast forwarded three weeks and this is open now. But as soon as I finish looking in here I will be reverting back to the video from three weeks ago if that makes sense. So this is just a little self-contained Granny flat or bachelor pad. Yeah. Pretty cool setup though. All right, let's go back in time three weeks. Neighbours in that house too, guys. Okay. Laundry and toilet. And what? There's a shower head in the toilet. Unless there's a shower there. No, it's cupboard spaces. I've never seen that before. Maybe it's the new version of a bidet. I think the front door's open too. There we go. The clock. Hmm. Yeah, this can't be any older than the 80s either. Although it's got yellow stained glass like the 60s and 70s, but Bathroom. Front bedroom. All right. I think there was one room 
around here I didn't look in. Which is just a small bedroom or a study. All right guys, that's it. <clears throat> was just curious to see what was going on in here. So, you know the deal. Got to come in and have a snoop around. All right guys, I'll end it here. On to the next one. Okay, two weeks ago, I explored this house and the one next door. And as I pointed out in that video, there was still a residence living in the one over this side. And there's not now, so we're gonna go and check that. So we'll go out the front door here and climb over the fence. I don't know if it's open or anything, but the fence is up around it. Doors open. Yeah, I did notice. I, I took a walk through that one, and um, a lot more things have been salvaged out of those places. So this one may be the same. Dictionaries. Yeah, it's been picked apart. Probably the heater was there, up against that wall. Front door. Yeah, there's not much to see, guys. Oh, we've got a retro bath room, though. So this is a 50s home. It's had a lot of alterations. But at least the bathroom is the original. Although that window's been replaced. Probably would have been a cabinet there, maybe, originally, even though this one's here now. Yeah. There's actually two more houses over the back. So I'll try and check those two. There was a shed out the back. We'll take a quick look in. There's lots 
lots of junk in there. Pretty much all it is too. I just junk guys. two-story one over there guys that's also vacant and there's another one to the side of that one that's got a lot of things missing off it too which is uh, also vacant so we'll go over and see if they're accessible too Whoa, damn, I wish I've got this one sooner. This is retro. Check out those cabinets. Huge front window's been taken. Looks like this had all the um, kitchen stuff inside as well, a fridge and a stove. This is 60s. Damn, this is like vintage 60s. Hmm. Oh, maybe 50s actually, I think. Yeah, I'd say 50s by the design. The flat contemporary roof. <clears throat> it sort of blends in with the 60s as well. A very sticky floor where the uh, lino was. Another one that hasn't made it past the 70s. That's kind of 70s pattern. Don't you reckon, guys? Bedroom.
Oh, wow. So they moved out pretty quick when when the time came. They just took off. Look at that old bed frame. Definitely into guns and shooting. They're all shooting magazines. Nice dress, oh look at the big mirror. Hmm. And it's probably another little bedroom or an office. There's a safe there. Okay, so there's another house next door with a fence over it, I'll try that one, and there's actually one over there, sorry, over there, and two more without fences, but I think they're vacant, so I have no idea if they're open, but we'll go and check. Alright, so we're back at this uh, development site and you can now see that those houses that I've explored, they're gone. But the other ones that weren't accessible are now accessible, so we're going to go check them out, guys. Okay, at least the windows have gone, but at least there's uh, still going to be some interiors to look at. Yeah, the one that's over there, that was that 60s one we saw already, guys. So, these ones will be gone very soon as well. There's a house over there that seems to be the only one that hasn't got the fence around it. So they're staying as long as they can by the looks. Looks like there was cabinets or wardrobes there where those lines are. Christmas decorations. Look at the carnage out there. Bathroom.
kitchen door. Yep. Okay, what's out here? Probably the laundry. Yep. The laundry. The loo. Back shed. Nothing in there. Junk in the backyard. Oh, we'll check upstairs quickly. Spiral staircase. Very steep, narrow one. These will be all bedrooms. Oh, crawl space in the ceiling. Looks like an attic as well. Now if we look straight over there, where those trees are behind the machine, that's where Peter Van the Party Man and a lovely old bluestone villa were demolished as part of this whole new intersection that's going to cut through right through there. Those big trees are going too, unfortunately. Yeah, another bedroom. Insulation and ducting. Alright, we will now go over to... There's also a block of units there that seems to have one or two occupants still in it. But there's another house directly behind that tree we'll go over and check out now, guys. Well, this one looks like it's been half destroyed. Look at that light. Got the feeling this is a 50s home that has been heavily renovated over the years. One thing I did notice then about that neighbour that's still in there, they were in there loading up their car with their belongings, so it looks like they're moving out as well. This home is huge. Looks like it's been extended out the back there. 
This was the kitchen. Looks like that was an office. Bathroom. Laundry. Now what this, this must have been the extension back patio slash entertainment yeah this is like a back entertaining area you got the barbecue there or what used to be some sort of cooking it's like a back kitchen entertainment area now that's the repatriation hospital over there and these units, I think all of them are vacant by the front too. I think they're going as well. Now, as far as I can tell, that one still needs to... Holy hell, it's an Alfred Hitchcock moment house there still has to be vacated that one's empty so we'll check that one next guys now that we've scared all the pigeons away or whatever they were Oh, that's old school. Ooh. Booth seat.
There's the toilet. Back door. Bathroom, I think this is a 50s home too. Yep. This bathroom is definitely 50s. These uh, cement and tile shower partitions are typically 50s as well. Bedroom. Hmm. It looks as though there was some sort of electric maybe electric heater there looks like that's where the uh, heater should be but there's one there definitely 50s home Just a bedroom. And another front bedroom. Yeah, that's it from the front. It may even have gone into the 60s, I'll have to check. It's definitely late 50s, early 60s though. All right. Depending on how we go with other houses, this may be the last one for this video. If not, see you in the next one. All right, we're back again at the intersection site. So this one was one of the last for the residents to move out, but look at this. It's like they've just piled up everything on the front lawn. Everything from inside, so let's, let's take a look. locked in that one's uh, empty we've been in that one but there's another one over the other side And some units over the back there. What the hell? I really didn't think there was going to be anything in here, judging by the front yard.
Ben's window smashed. See, there was, there was people in this only a week ago. Well, there was cars in the drive at least anyway. So... Idiots have trashed it or... There's a tiny kitchen. And I did notice as I came around the corner in the intersection there, starting to lop down the huge gum trees from Peter Van and the old Bluestone Villa site that I uploaded a few months back. This is a bit of a maze, this home. Very odd. This is the laundry and it's dead centre in the middle of the house. Yeah, it looks like they've just Carried, carried everything out the front and dumped it on the front lawn. This house is bigger than what it seems from the front as well. There's a few decent old uh, cabinets in here. Another bed. Someone's trashed it. All the windows are broken. Furniture's just all tipped over. Hmm. There's a lot of bedrooms in here. Cover it up against another wardrobe. Really weird layout. Well, there's, t there's two toilets there. Maybe this was a share house or something. We will go over to 
the other two. Just thought I saw something out the window then. I think it was a bird. All right, we'll head over and check these other two. Okay, we've been in this one, guys, but we haven't been in this one here. This one had residents in it right up until a week or so ago as well. Doors locked. That one's open. Yeah, the earth moving equipment is over there. That's where a service station was, and uh, the houses that I've already explored, they're gone. And way over beyond that is where they're cutting down the gum trees. You can probably hear the chainsaws. Huge gum trees over 200 years old. Sad. It's a different language. Well, it's got the uh, it's got the English term and then a different language explaining what the term is. Tap running still. Yeah, this one's cleared out. Here's the front door. are over past that house so head over there all right there's a 
there's actually a shortcut through the backyard of this house. We'll take that. Oh, the birds. Yeah, we've been in that one, as I said. this one too. I know it's probably confusing in uh, and right now I've not uh, uploaded any of these houses so I've got no idea what order I'll upload them but I'll try and keep them in succession of so my commentary makes sense here yeah, there's a big long row of units along here and they're all cleared out now they also had uh, residents in them last week. So, we'll check out. The repatriation hospital is over there. Oh, there's a car pit. Yeah, this home here had some really, really nice updates, but it's been gutted. Huge carport too. Carport's being dismantled. Would have been uh, undercover. Whoops. All right. So. There's not going to be really anything flash in here, but. Seeing we're here, this is the last thing on this development site, so we need to need to explore it. Absolutely sterile and boring. So TVs and a sofa in there. Oh, that one's locked. Oh, there's a whole heap of stuff left in this one. So, without cracking my head, let's see if the uh, back door's open for this one. Because I'm not very short and don't fit through windows that well. But looks like I might have to on this one. Alright, uh, I'm in. That would have been amusing to watch because I basically sat in the chair to get through the window. I'm not going to really look at dates because I know there were people in here um, within the last month, definitely. Should I open the fridge? 
Mm. The fridge sounds like it's still on. Oh my god, that, the power's still on. That's still cold. It's still frozen. Frozen icy cold. It's just, well, just a light. Oh. Wow. Well, that's not that surprising because there were people in these units last weekend. So they haven't disconnected the power to this one yet. Those couches are filthy. Neil Diamond. Cracklin Rosie and Sweet Caroline. That's dead. Dead bolted, dead locked. Try not to fall flip through the floor. And it looks like they were a fan of MASH as well. All VHS. More mash. They were hardcore fans. And in there as well. Wonder why they didn't take their mash collection. Uh-oh, Adelaide Crows fans. Adelaide Crows clock, unopened. AFL DVD trivia challenge. Got a few blokes at my work who would uh, probably like that. Hey, are the Crows, Adelaide Crows. No. Oh. Another one there. Name a game. Alright, so we've got the toilet and the bathroom. Alright, I'm hoping I can open the back door from inside. Deadlocked. Alright, I'm going to have to climb through the window and we'll check out the other ones. Alright. Looks like someone's actually broken into all these places. Oh, so there's only three. One, two, three. Hmm, 
This one might not be accessible. Power's still on there too. Should have brought the key from that other house. Just looks like there's a whole bunch of mess in there as well. Well, that does it for this site. I've explored, even though I just couldn't get into that unit there. We've explored all the buildings that are going to be demolished. And as I speak, there are workmen out there fencing off the front house that I was in earlier. So I'm going to end it here and uh, say goodbye. Get back to my carb. So jump in the comments if you want to, guys. And we'll go on to the next one, and uh, I'll see you in that video. Cheers, bye. Remember, I used to sigh at the end of each day. Dear.